Alright, 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 Mr. Fix-It Tight here, back with another Fix-It video. Thought I'd give you guys a better view this time than my dark dungeon. Hopefully you enjoy the view. Anyhow, uh, we got the UVC G3 Pro here, no power. Uh, if you guys stick around, we're going to show you how to troubleshoot and maybe fix that. So stick around. Alright, we got the UVC G3. First thing we need to do is show you guys how to get into the camera. Alright, you're going to need a nylon spudger of some sort, a pair of tweezers, and a tiny Phillips screwdriver to disassemble this. So first off, you take your small screwdriver and you insert it into one of these three little little uh, indented areas here and turn that counterclockwise until you fully unscrew the uh, the first ring and that'll get you the uh, that'll get you the first ring off of the camera and then at that point you're going to take and you can pull the shade off of the camera as well so at this point, you'll notice there's four screws inside, but leave those for now. What you want to do is you want to take a nylon spudger and pull the lens off of the front of the camera. At that point, you'll see a ribbon cable in here for your LEDs. You need to unhook that. Once you've unhooked that ribbon cable, then you can take those four screws out and remove the LEDs. Once you got the LEDs out, I've already removed mine, but inside of the camera housing, you'll see four screws. And you gotta take those four tiny Phillips screws out. And that will get you your camera assembly. Now, once you've got your camera assembly out, what you wanna do is flip it over to the back here and on the back you'll notice there is a 5 volt uh, USB input. What you want to do is either plug that into your laptop or another 5 volt power source and plug up the camera to your laptop or whatever. Hook it up you know, like you normally would with the 48 volt uh, PoE injector and if the camera powers up at that point then you've got the same problem that I have. If not, then you'll have to investigate what else is going on with, the, with your particular camera. But anyhow, at that point, you will notice there's a small ribbon cable here. You want to unhook that ribbon cable and remove the four small screws holding this board onto the rest of your camera assembly. This is the main board that we are concerned with. This is your network and power supply. There's actually an onboard power supply built into this uh, device, and that is what has fried out. I don't know if my camera will focus. Maybe. I don't think so. But anyhow, on that board, there's a chip there that that's, uh, regulates your power, and that's what's burned up on this particular camera. So instead of trying to repair that UPS, UPSs are, you know, something's out of a tolerance somewhere that caused that chip to burn up. So instead, what I did was a bypass. So what I did, if you notice this chip here, you'll see a positive and negative uh, uh, printed on the board. All you do is take a jumper wire from your positive over to your five volts on the back of your USB and a negative over to your ground of your USB input and at that point 
what you want to do is, you know, assemble the camera back together. And you will need a PoE injector. You just simply take your PoE injector. I had to make mine, but it's nothing special. Just a plain old PoE injector, PoE out, LAN in, DC in. I had to make one with a six volt because this is the only six volt power supply. You will need a six volt power supply because the NIC card is going to rub one volt from whatever voltage you're sending to it. So your NIC, NIC card is going to rub one volt. So you need six volts going into this and then you'll have five volts on, uh, on these two. Um, and depending on distance you may have to ramp that step that voltage up more for the distance that you are trying to achieve but yeah just uh, just reverse it put it all together and hopefully that uh, hopefully that worked out for you guys uh, if you like the video like share subscribe um, yeah so anyhow hopefully I helped you guys out hopefully you enjoyed the view and this is Mr. Fixitite signing off